Hey everyone, it's Faith, and today I'm doing a video about different mermaid tricks you can do. I did this with the help of my mermaid friend Debbie. You can check out her YouTube channel, I'll leave a link to it. So without any further ado, let's get into my top 10 mermaid tricks. So my first trick is sort of a mermaid tail handstand as well as a fluke splash. So what you want to do is you want to be vertically head first in water with your fluke above. You want to do a skull towards the bottom of the pool. Imagine that you're raising the roof. This will give you power to lift your fluke out of the water. To do a mermaid wave, you want to wiggle your ankle back and forth. When you do a fluke splash, you essentially want to fall down, bending your knees and giving a kick so you hit the water with a big splash. So next up we have the tail high five. You want to get into a back flip position, point your toes and then bring your fluke tips up. Then do a skull underneath your butt to keep yourself afloat while you poke your fluke out of the water. Line up with your friend and then smack your flukes together. You can also do this underwater. Next up we have the front flip. With this one you want to get some momentum going and my favorite thing to do is fold myself in half. I like to keep my legs somewhat straight so it looks a little more mermaidy than tucking into a ball like most people would do on a front somersault. You want to propel yourselves most with your arms until you are right side up again. And of course we have the back flip. With a back flip you really want to get some momentum going and use your arms to power you through the flip. To do this properly, you really want to arch your back and tilt your head all the way backwards. And yes, water will get up your nose. The best way to deal with this is to blow up bubbles through your nose or go hmm just to block up your sinuses. Speaking of bubbles, we have the ever popular blow kiss. With a blow kiss, you want to build up some air in your mouth and place your hand or hands in front of your closed lips. You want to push your hands away as you release the air in one fluid motion. And one of my favorite tricks to do are bubble rings. The main secret with a bubble ring is that you really need to be deep underwater. You want to be horizontal in the water and tilt your head back. Lots of people ask me about this. It's okay to plug your nose or use a nose clip. Now back to making bubble rings. You want to build up some air in your mouth, not your cheeks. Mouth the word POW and blow the air out in a controlled manner through a small tight opening between your lips. It sometimes helps to poke your tongue out a little bit and I found that it works. Number seven, I call this the Mermaid Melissa. Oh my gosh, she said Mermaid Melissa. So simply just swim and put your arms in front of you. Then you want to put one arm on top and the other on the bottom and make them cross and switch places. Add some fluent hand motions and you look like the famous mermaid. Once you get the hang of it, it's so much fun to do. Number eight, this is another move that I've seen on YouTube and uh, just love and so I incorporate it into my own swimming I call the wiki waichi. What you want to do is you want to get some depth below. I find the best way for me to descend is to blow out air. Pretend that you're sitting in your chair and bend your knees. Twist your knees back and forth to look like the iconic performers. Number nine is a twirl swim. When you're getting started you want to lead the motion with your arms. It's important to point your toes and don't forget to give a few kicks while you're going. You can also do this ascending like I'm doing in the back. People call this the aerial twirl because of like that famous scene from Ariel. Last but not least, we have the two person tail circle. One person does a handstand in the water and then the next person stays vertical and lets the other person reach towards their fluke. They both swim in sort of a backflip motion and you follow each other around in a circle. This is a really fun one to do with friends, but again, it's pretty difficult and yeah, we didn't completely get it during our swim, but it's still so much fun to do, especially when you actually manage to grab each other's flukes and float around in a circle looks really awesome. So those are all the mermaid tricks I have for you guys. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it or found it helpful, give it a thumbs up. As well, comment below if you have any favorite mermaid tricks that you like to do or would like to do, and maybe I'll even incorporate them into my mermaid swimming repertoire. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, as well as Mermaid Debbie as she does awesome mermaid stuff, and I love her tail and she's so adorable, so go subscribe to her. Thank you so, so much for watching, and I'll see you later. Bye!